So how, how do you feel about uh, this um, uh, situation um, with uh, the Muslim minority that has fled to Bangladesh, uh, Rohingyas or Muslim uh, minority? Uh, do you feel that the military in uh, Myanmar has handled this uh, well, or would you have no, in hindsight, uh, seen this handled uh, in a different way? Because there has been a lot of international focus, and also the UN has come out with pretty strong statements on this. Well, yes, I, I know there has been a lot of international focus, but when you say how did the military handle it, I, I think perhaps you're... Uh, I was thinking of the military aspect of the operations because, of course, the political aspect is something for which the government has to take responsibility. Mm. And as uh, uh, I, I like to say from time to time, although we only have 75% of the power, we have to accept 100% of the responsibility. That's what elected government is all about. Um, they, they, they are, of course, ways in which we, with hindsight, might think that the situation could have been handled better. But we believe that for the sake of long-term stability and security, we have to be fair to all sides. The rule of law must apply to every, everybody. We cannot choose and pick uh, whom should be protected by the rule of law. And I have to keep repeating because people are very few are interested in that aspect of the situation, that in the Rakhine there are many, many small groups, ethnic groups, and religious groups, and they're not just the Muslims and the Rakhines, as seems to be the perception of much of the world. For example, we have very small ethnic groups which are fast disappearing, but nobody seems to be interested in them, and yet they are the ones who could disappear altogether, because some are now down to four figures. And, uh, for the government, we have to be fair to all of them, even if the rest of the world is not interested in the smaller groups. We have to make them feel and understand that they will be treated on an equal basis and that their rights and their security matter as much to us as that of the Rakhines and the Muslims, which are the big groups and of whose presence and whose problems the whole world is aware. Mm. So this is... Uh, if you like, this is part of the responsibilities of uh, duly elected government. You, some people, a, a democratic government is never elected by 100% of the voters. But you have a responsibility to all, even the ones that did not vote for you.